What's going on everyone, this is Iris. And real quick, I just wanna start off by saying a big thank you to 420 The Stunner, my boy. Uh, I'm gonna put the link to his channel down in the description. And let, let me just give you a quick note what he did for me. A Little while back, uh, Stunner had a couple of issues. He had an issue with his laptop and he lost all of his settings for Vegas and, and whatnot. And you know, at the time I was tinkering with the settings in mine and you know, I offered him my settings. So I sent them over to him. I sent him some screenshots, what I was using at the time. And you know, he thanked me you know, gave me a little shout out on, on, on his video and, and, you know, we moved on. Life moved on. Everything was great. Well, with all the twinker, tinkering that I had been doing to, <laughs> to my Vegas, I kind of started getting away from the quality that I had. And, you know, he reached out to me and said, hey, man, you know, if you need some help, here's my settings. Check them out. Use them if you want. And to be honest, the past, this will be, I think, the third video that I've been using them. And this is really the first opportunity I got to thank him. So, Stun, I just want to say thank you. My settings are back on point. I'll still tinker with them a little bit because that's just the, you know, OCD guy that I am in my brain. But thank you again. I, it, you know, the quality's looking a lot better and I can't thank you enough. So that's that. I just want to jump into the Charlotte situation for a little bit. And I know a while back I, I did a video on, on Ferguson, I think it was, and, you know, where I spoke a little bit about how, you know, there's no way I can understand what, what that you know, racism feels like and this and that. But I think at this point, it, it just seems like um, when conclusions are jumped to before facts are known, it's causing such a headache and just such a pain for everybody and a pain on both sides of the argument. Um, you know, apparently, and you know, we still don't, we haven't seen, or at least I haven't seen the video yet, but it sounds like that there's video um, uh, from a, a body cam of this gentleman having the gun and, you know, moving towards the police and the police shot him. And, you know, as it turns out, it was, it was a, a black police officer shooting a black man uh, with a black police chief. Uh, and I'm struggling to find the racism in that. Um, now, you could say, you know, there's bad cops. Yes, we all know that. I mean, there, there's bad people everywhere. I mean, there's, there's racist everywhere. I mean... To a degree, I like to think of myself as a racist only because I really don't like anybody, to be honest with you. I mean, just, just people I don't like. Humans suck, to be honest with you. I don't think humans are very intelligent uh, compared to the animal kingdom. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, what they're doing, I mean, I just don't understand why the, the black community can't figure it out to just come together and, and work this out with themselves as well at the same time. I know there's a problem, right? There's definitely a racism problem with with some people because there's definitely racists out there that don't like black people and do things like that. But I think when you look at the community and what can they do to make, I mean, what they did with the riots and the loot, you're just, you, people are gonna see that on the news and they're not gonna hear the message of what you were doing it for. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, you know, I don't know what's needed. Again, I'm not, you know, I'm not on that side of the color line. So I, I don't know what it's like. I, I don't I don't live in that type of neighborhood. I didn't come up in that type of neighborhood, but there's just gotta be somebody, some group of black men that are that are, you know, father figures and well spoken and, and that that can just get through to these guys, to get through to these communities and just, you know, cause it ain't gonna be the Al Sharptons, it ain't gonna be the people like that. I mean, it obviously wasn't Obama. I mean, the first black president, what did he really do? Nothing. So, you know, take it for what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just sad what's going on. At this point, it's, at this point, literally, it's just sad. It's just sad what's going on. I mean, it, it, there's gotta be a better way. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is, <laughs> oh, this guy. Anthony Weiner, um, yeah, I, I, it, what is, all right, so there's definitely a problem with this guy, right? He's definitely, he definitely has a mental issue with being able to overcome this sexting thing or whatever it is he's doing. And now it comes out that he was caught doing it with a 15 year old girl. The guy needs help. Listen, you know how we watch like these child celebrities and you know, you watch them go like uh, Corey Feldman, and uh, Drew Barrymore, they go through their coke stages and all that shit and their, their car wrecks were just waiting for them to crash. And then 
few years later, you know, they'll get a nice little reality show, and then once that bombs, they go on Dancing with the Stars, you know, sort of like that. It seems like we need something like that for these, you know, politicians, because, and he's not the only one who's got caught in, like, a sex scandal like this, but he just happens to be the guy in the news right now. The guy needs help. Like, somebody needs to reach out to this guy and get him away and help him. Whether it's spiritually, whether it's medication, whether it's just... Uh, I don't even know, but he needs help. He has a mental issue. And, uh, I mean, he's just going to keep doing it. I mean, his political career was ruined. His marriage is ruined. Uh, his life is just ruined. He He's going to end up in some east corner of Wyoming, in East Bumblefuck, Wyoming, uh, you know, with some great internet connection, just looking at porn all day and jacking off. I mean... And he's an embarrassment to New York that he was even a New York politician for for a while there. Uh, just just horrible. Just ruined his career. Uh, he, he's an embarrassment uh, to to his family, to everybody who knows him, friends. Uh, why friends aren't you know getting this guy the help that he needs? I I don't understand it, but he definitely needs it. All right, the last thing I'm going to talk about is this YouTube heroes thing that's going on. I uh, kind of read it about it shortly. I saw some tweets about it, and I really didn't understand what it was. So I looked it up this morning when I got to work, and it looks like what it's going to be is complete bullshit, right? So it looks like that you can apply for this role, and this role gives you some sort of administrative rights to other people's channels so that you can edit comments and flag things and, you know, try to basically be their political correctness police, if you will. Uh, you know, maybe they don't have enough people. They probably don't have the resources. So instead of outsourcing it to India, which half of their shit probably is, they're reaching out to us, the content creators, or, you know, if you have just a YouTube account to be able to do it. Um, yeah, that's wrong. It's, that's just wrong. It's got wrong written all over it. I mean, listen, there's, it's going to be abused. If, if they don't have the resources to keep up with uh, the stuff that they're trying to fix in the comment section as it is, how are they going to have the resources to make sure that these new YouTube heroes aren't abusing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I could go in and delete good accounts. Who's going to know if I deleted a good comment? Who's going to know if I edited a good comment? I mean, I, where where is that line going to get drawn? I mean, I thought it was going to be like something cool. Like, I looked, oh, maybe I'll join it because I like playing with stuff like that. But then the more I read about it uh, and, you know, the fact that at any time they can, uh, I kind of read their terms of service, that any time they can promote you to say that you are like a youtube hero and you know it, do you really want it to be known that you are one you know what i mean it's it, I, I don't know i don't see it as a good thing M maybe the idea and the concept was good when they were talking about it in the boardroom and whiteboarding it maybe the idea was great but i think the way that it's being implemented i, I don't see it working out that well uh, i really don't so listen, everyone, I went over a couple of, you know, three different topics today. I went over Charlotte. I went over the Anthony Weiner thing. And I went over the YouTube Heroes thing. I'd really appreciate it down in the comments. You guys could put your thoughts on each of those topics. If, you know, if you're willing to do so, I'd really appreciate that. As always, if you're new here, please subscribe because it helps out my channel tremendously. You know, it makes me know that I'm going in the right direction. Drop a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, drop a thumbs down. I don't mind. But do me a favor. In the comments, tell me why you didn't like it. At least do that. If you're going to be big enough to hit the thumbs down, tell me in the comments. I'm not going to be mad at you. I just want to know. Maybe I got to be better at something. Listen, as always, I appreciate your time. Have a great day. Have a great night. Uh, I'm going to release this video, and I'm probably going to be going up against Thursday Night Football. So I don't know how well that's going to do. <laughs> so I might have to catch up on Friday morning with everybody taking a look at this. But, again, thank you as always. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate it all. See you guys on the next one. I'm just going to let this play out with a little music. It's a nice little game in the background. Combine. Had a nice couple kills. Didn't get to play last night. I had a... Uh, working on my mother-in-law's apartment. I'm painting it. So, you know how that goes. Got home from work. Threw a quick burger down my throat and ran over there. Um, hopefully, I'm... I don't even know if I'll be able to get on tonight. But if I do, you guys see me on. Throw me a message. Tweet at me. Maybe we could jump in a game. I'd like to get some maybe Destiny in. Alright, I'm just kidding. That's it. Later, guys.